Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run, and today we're playing as Lazarus. So this Daily Run kinda goes to show you that this game can really lull you into a false sense of security and then crushes your dreams and hopes where you stand, and all of this happened in the very first two floors. So I'll try to do, I would say, a hand-by-hand -hand narration as well as actually going through the motions of the oceans to some extent. So the first thing we got here was technology, and obviously that's an item that doesn't have a positive effect and not necessarily even a negative one. I would just say it's a different effect and it can be positive sometimes it can be negative the other times the benefits obviously I think outweigh the, the negatives but at the same time it's not really all that impressive but I picked it up anyway it's a fun item at the very least it has some fun synergies and I figured this is gonna make for a pretty fun time when we actually get that later down the road well, the boss room had experimental treatment, and I picked it up, and you can see that my stats have gone to bonkers to some extent. I figured I could pick it up in this case because range is not really gonna affect technology, also not shot speed, so the only stats that, that, that it can really affect technology were both damage and tear delay, and to get negatives on both of those is quite unlikely, and I figured it was gonna actually be worth the risk maybe once in a lifetime, and I decided to pick up experimental treatment. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, when I say exactly what happened, I mean the, the most negative outcome happened, and that is that mo both my damage and my tear delay got nerfed, and of course everybody who picked it up would have the same fate, and we were at 2.5 damage and at 15 tear delay, so that's extremely bad, I think this is probably one of the worst rolls you can ho hope to get, um, especially when you have something like technology, there's just no redeeming qualities there, and none of the other sets which increased actually helped us or benefited us in any way, so we're just like in a position where we're not doing any damage. So what can we do now? Well, there's really not much, I just figured it was gonna be one of those really slow and tedious runs, I'll just see where the run takes us. So we kinda go to the next trash room, and in there was the clicker, and that, that seemed like the perfect opportunity to use it, of course. You have experimental treatment, you'll try to click it away, so you act, hopefully get rid of the stats, and of course in, in turn you'll also turn to another character, and of course turning into another character is not really what you're going for, for here, but you're mainly trying to use the clicker to get rid of that particular syringe. And you have to remember that even when you use the clicker, I believe that just by the virtue of picking the item up, it still counts towards the transformation, so it's not like you're incurring any negatives by actually getting rid of it. And in this case, because it was such a bad reroll, I figured anything is better than what we currently have. So I just decided to click it away, and when you do that, of course, because you do change a character, you turn into the Keeper. And the Keeper is, uh, a, you know, a pretty difficult character, and because you only have two health, and don't really have a way to regenerate it because you need pennies, and it, it, ideally you would have been pick, picking up pennies on the floor uh, as you were actually going, so you wouldn't actually have a way to restore your health and because the champion version of that particular floor uh, is <clears throat> I think a little horn, you're stuck in a very bad position. So the only other hope you have is to hope you have enough keys and that you destroyed, I would say, the majority of the poops in the fireplaces on the first floor, because that's gonna be the only way to really get five cents. And five cents allows you to go to the shop and of course get a key, uh, not a key, but if you have a key you can enter the shop and with five cents you can buy the battery. And if you have the battery then you can re recharge the clicker and use it again and hopefully re-roll into something else. And of course by doing that you're gonna get rid of another item, in this case technology and I figured that was gonna be a worthwhile sacrifice, mainly because uh, it's not really an effect that would be good, I would say. It's not like you, you picked up Brimstone or you picked up like, a very severe damage upgrade, but it's just an item that I would say doesn't really have a positive or a negative effect, and getting rid of it is not gonna, I would say, incur any negative penalty. So I decided to reroll again, and later on we did manage to turn into a Zazel, and the next floor luckily did kinda, I would say, reward us for going through that punishment early on and gave us Mom's Knife. And because with how Zazel works, and because of how li his little Brimstone doesn't really synergize with Mom's Knife, um, the Mom's Knife just overrides it, and we were in a really good position from this point forward. Not only because we have Succubus and we have Mom's Knife, we're just kind of tearing through the rooms doing a lot of AoE damage as well as a lot of single target damage, but also because we have that ski which allows us to enter the shops and the treasure rooms and the secret rooms and the second secret rooms for basically free without using any of our consumables and because of course it's on a two room charge, we can use it as frequently as we like. So at this point uh, I was kind of looking forward to this one because I figured, you know, not everybody is really gonna make it to those two first floors, they're kind of rough, and I do imagine a lot of people who maybe make it that way will just end up instantly quitting, because it's gonna be a difficult one, or at least they might perceive it to be a bit too difficult or annoying to play, and they just figure, you know, I have better things to do. And because I don't, of course, I kind of continued, and the, the run did, I would say, reward us in this particular case with what I would say a pretty decent run. I still did take a little bit too much damage, I think that's mainly because I'm just a little bit tired and fever feverish and things like that, so my reactions aren't all that good, but luckily, because we had room bag, we got quite a bit of 
of Alger's runes, I was able to use them to kind of stay invincible for the majority of the duration of boss rush, and I was able to get up there close and personal and just deal a lot of damage with mom with my mom's knife that way. And it did turn out to be, I would say, um, uh, an experience that 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 will not be easily forgotten, mainly because of uh, what a roller coaster it is. And this is what exactly what I meant when I said it lulls you into a false sense of security. First of all, it, it it makes you feel like maybe this is gonna be a fun run with technology, it's not an item that shows up often, then it just ruins all hope, all of your hopes and dreams. And if you manage to survive that, then you're rewarded with something good. So it's a, it's a, it's a very harsh ro roller coaster ride, not something I would necessarily take in real life because roller coasters are damn scary, they're a bit too fast for my taste. And in this particular case, I had the same I would say it gut feeling when I actually entered it. It just felt like it was changing a bit too much and I was never too sure on which direction I was on. Was I actually in a good direction? Was I not in a good direction? And it kind of had me doubting for the rest of the run as well because I only had 4 or 4 damage at that point and I figured I'm actually not doing all that much and when I get to some of those later stages it's gonna be quite difficult. But luckily the 4 damage wasn't all that big of a problem. Mob's Knife is such a good item that even with 4 damage you actually can do quite a bit of work and because we all have boss, boss rush to worry about, we don't have to go too harsh. Uh, I was left in a really good spot from this point forward. So another thing I would like to mention is that I did have the perk spill on the Womb 1 floor and there was a decision. So should I have picked up the Avos rune or the perk spill? And my idea was if I pick up the Avos rune and if there is a sacrifice room on the next floor, I'm kind of losing out hope because then of course I can't use the perk spill to reduce my damage by actually going to the sacrifice room. But if I take the Avos rune and of course there is still a sacrifice room there, uh, then, then, then that's exactly the situation I just described. But essentially what I'm trying to say is that I couldn't have used the Awas rune in that particular floor because I would much rather take a sacrifice room. So what I decided to do is to keep the perk spill in hopes that there would be a sacrifice room because that means I would take it and if there wasn't then I would hope for another payout from the room bag to get another Awas rune and luckily that's exactly what happened. So it was a bit of a risky plan and it definitely I wouldn't say uh, worked out as I expected it to, but I would say it was one of those risk versus war type of situations. I felt like keeping the perk spill is just gonna increase my chances of getting a better score in the average case, because like I said, there's always a chance of getting another A was room, but there's not another chance of getting another perk spill. And if there happened to be a sacrifice room on the next floor, I know I would have taken it regardless, and having the perk spill in my pocket is essentially gonna allow me to reduce my damage penalty twofold, and that's something what I feel is a little bit more valuable than just keeping the A was room for a surefire way, and it's not even a surefire way because there can be a crawl space instead of a trapdoor um, for a surefire way of actually getting to show. So with all of that said, <laughs> we did come to the end of the run. It was a good one uh, to some extent, of course, if you did survive that initial roller coaster ride, which I just said, uh, admitted, I'm not too fond of. But you know, it is what it is. We did come to the end, and I would imagine, like with roller coasters, you come to the end and you're just relieved to have gone through the experience, and that's exactly how I feel right now. So with that said, I hope I enjoyed this one, guys and I hope to see you next time.